A series of earthquakes rattled Stanley this morning, including one 4.0 magnitude and two 3.9 quakes. Since June 1st, there have been 35 earthquakes northwest of Stanley along the Sawtooth Fault. Beneath the broad, snow-capped shoulders of central Idaho, the ground is no longer silent. For more than a week, what was once a quiet swath of the gem state has become the epicenter of a seismic riddle as tremors ripple through its bedrock and the air bristles with a sense of anticipation, sometimes hope, other times anxiety. No, this isn't California or Alaska, where the Earth's restlessness is part of the local wisdom. This is Idaho, a place where seismic quiet has long been the rule, not the exception, at least until now. Since 4.53 p.m. on a crisp Saturday afternoon, February 15, 2025, a moment locals may remember for years. The earth near Stanley, Idaho, has been shaking off its mantle of stillness. What began as a gentle jolt, subtle as a shadow sliding beneath snow, has rapidly quickened into a full-blown earthquake swarm. 282 earthquakes, their magnitudes ranging from imperceptible 0.0, .0 to a sharper 3.9, have been recorded, each one a cog in the inexorable working of geologic unrest. What once were tranquil forests and pastures now pulse with red dots on seismic maps, radiating uncertainty and drawing the attention of scientists and everyday residents alike. These tremors echo in a region already marked by past seismic scars. Faint memories of major events preserved deep below ground. This corridor is no stranger to strong quakes. It's in the same general area that decades ago, some massive earthquakes redrew the land and lives of Idahoans. But this time, the rhythm is unfamiliar, faster, more insistent. The force, long contained within the stone, now seems to be probing the surface world. Across Twin Falls, Stanley, and beyond, a question hangs in the air soft as a shiver of wind before a storm. What is happening beneath Idaho's feet? And could this swarm be a sign of something greater waiting just out of sight? The Science of the Swarm Understanding what's unfolding below Idaho's mountains requires venturing into the mysterious world of earthquake swarms, a geological phenomenon as enigmatic as it is unsettling. Unlike the single punctuation of a lone quake, a swarm is a burst. Dozens, sometimes hundreds, of earthquakes flare in rapid succession, crowding seismograms and leaving little rest for the landscape. Since February 15, sensors scattered across the region, many no bigger than a book, but sensitive enough to record even the whisper of movement, have relayed a stream of data. Each quake, whether a 0.2 tremor beneath the roots of a pine tree or a sharper 3.9, adds to this noisy, mounting cascade. But what distinguishes a swarm from a chain of aftershocks that follow a main event? In a classic main shock aftershock sequence, a single large earthquake is the cause. Aftershocks then echo as the earth settles and energy dissipates. In Idaho, however, there's no one major quake at the center of events, no singular giant that started it all. Instead, quakes jostle each other, clusters form, and dissolve all beneath Stanley and, reportedly, the area north-northeast of West Yellowstone, a non-linear choreography of pressure and fracture. What brings about these discordant patterns in the Earth? In some cases, tectonic stress alone drives swarm activity as plates grind and flex. Other swarms are believed to result from the movement of fluids superheated water, gases, and sometimes magma, pushing up through fractures, prodding the rock into restless increments. Occasionally, a swarm can signal that a larger earthquake is possible, but just as often, it fizzles out, with the earth quietly relieving its stress without a major event. Scientists now pore over quake locations and depths, searching for patterns, hints in the cacophony. The swarm's proximity to the epicenters of significant historic Idaho earthquakes has sharpened the sense of urgency, turning each blip on the seismic readout into a new clue. Unlike other Western swarms, which often flicker and fade within a day or two, this one has gathered speed and shows no sign of fading. Is the earth around Stanley merely venting stress? Or do these persistent tremors hint at a more serious story? perhaps even one involving Idaho's connections to the tectonic and volcanic forces at play beneath the surface of the Northern Rockies. Echoes of the Past, Idaho's Seismic Legacy. For those familiar with Idaho, the trembling ground today evokes memories of seismic events that left a permanent imprint on the landscape. The region's faults and fractured rock record the geologic equivalent 
of living memory, a litany of earthquakes that, at times, have transformed the lives of communities from Stanley to Chalice and beyond. Decades ago, Idaho made headlines with powerful earthquakes, events measured not just by their magnitude, but by the landslides and ground deformation they wrought. The most notable of these, the 1983 Bora Peak earthquake, was the largest in Idaho's recorded history. A magnitude 6.9 event that left behind offset ridges, sunken pastures, and lasting impact. Today's swarm unfolds not far from the sites of those historic quakes, and scientists are keenly aware of the parallels. Once again, ancient stresses are being released along fault lines that run beneath the rugged Idaho Rockies. For some, this swarm is part of an ongoing cycle, an echo of past disruption, a reminder that the land remains active. For others, especially those who felt the ground move during earlier big quakes, even a small uptick in shaking is a cause for vigilance. Though not every swarm precedes a major event, the patterns of ground movement seen now overlap with the geological scars etched by past earthquakes. The clustering of recent quakes near Stanley and up to the borders of Montana and Wyoming serves as a reminder. Idaho's seismic legacy is immediate and ongoing. In places where mountains have shifted and valleys have stretched in response to natural forces, even modest seismic activity is a reminder that the Earth's story is always unfinished. The ground remembers what the surface has nearly forgotten. The Yellowstone's Shadow No discussion of seismic unrest in Idaho is complete without acknowledging the presence looming to the east. The Yellowstone supervolcano, whose immense volcanic history both awes and haunts the region. The area north-northeast of West Yellowstone, just across the border in Montana, is a place where layering tectonic and magmatic forces converge. On May 7th, roughly four miles north-northeast of West Yellowstone, a separate but potentially related swarm of 36 earthquakes rattled the region, with the largest event causing monitoring stations to record a brief spike in activity. Meanwhile, the Idaho swarm continued, suggesting that either independent processes or a broader regional mechanism might be at work. What links Idaho's seismicity to Yellowstone's dormant power? The answer lies in the deep geological fabric of the region. The faults now hosting multiple swarms are, at depth, part of a system that connects mantle-derived heat and tectonic stretching both of which have acted over millions of years to shape the Western United States. For now, scientists emphasize there is no clear evidence that Idaho's swarm will trigger activity at Yellowstone, nor vice versa. But the possibility that both are responding to widespread tectonic stress can't be ruled out. After all, Idaho sits within the margin of the large tectonic influence created by the movement of the North American plate over the Yellowstone hotspot a slow motion process that has left behind scars, calderas, and volcanic fields over the span of millions of years. What does it mean when Idaho and Yellowstone seem restless at the same time? It may be coincidence, or it may be a region-wide strain caused by larger forces. Either way, it has scientists watching carefully for any sign that these swarms are part of something larger. Rising Frequencies, Instruments, and Patterns With Idaho's seismic network on heightened alert, scientists have ramped up monitoring. Additional seismic arrays and instruments are being placed to track the swarm in detail. These tools, sensitive enough to feel the faintest vibrations, reveal the story as it unfolds. Where once hours might separate each tremor, now dozens occur in a single day. The data tell a tale of acceleration. Early on, the intervals between events permitted the ground moments of quietude, but lately, the swarm's tempo has increased. The swarm stretches across a complex web of faults. Some quakes are shallow, only a few kilometers below the surface, while others originate deeper, hinting at the shifting pressure far beneath Idaho's rocks. Most of the recent quake signals bear the classic hallmarks of tectonic tremors, small slip events along faults. There is no confirmed evidence of volcanic tremor, which would suggest moving magma or fluids in significant volume. 
However, scientists note that even tectonic swarms in this region can represent a complex interplay of stresses, fluids, and pre-existing fault weaknesses. Researchers are especially attuned to whether the swarm's clusters seem to migrate over time. If so, it could indicate the movement of fluids or changes in deeper stress fields. Factors such as increased groundwater or rapid changes in atmospheric pressure may sometimes correlate with minor increases in earthquake rate, but conclusive environmental triggers are difficult to pinpoint. The Earth's processes often play out on timescales and magnitudes our instruments can only begin to record. In the end, what's clear is that the Idaho Swarm has become one of the fastest moving and most numerous in recent memory. Each quake is a data point, a clue in a story that is still being written with its denouement yet unknown. So, is this all just geological background noise or the prelude to something greater? Only time and data will tell. The volcanic nexus swarms, faults. As activity continues, attention inevitably spills over to the region's volcanic history. The western US, Idaho and Yellowstone especially, is famous for the interplay of faults and ancient volcanic fields. Many earthquake swarms in volcanic regions around the world, such as at Campi Flegre in Italy or Laguna del Mal in Chile, have sometimes preceded volcanic unrest. Could this happen in Idaho or Yellowstone? While swarms occasionally precede eruptions elsewhere, most ultimately do not. Current evidence does not indicate that Idaho's swarm is directly tied to any imminent volcanic activity. Yellowstone, although closely watched for ground uplift, gas emissions, and temperature changes is not displaying unusual volcanic signals. Still, persistent earthquake swarms can sometimes act as a warning sign of broader changes in the crust. They may indicate fluids, water, gases, finding new weaknesses, or tectonic stress accumulating in new ways. In a region crossed by ancient fault lines and shaped by eons of volcanic activity, scientists remain attentive to all signals. So far, the Idaho Swarm shows no unambiguous signs of leading to volcanic unrest, but it is part of an evolving and interconnected geological system whose future movements cannot be precisely forecast. The Nightmare Scenario If the Big One strikes for residents of Stanley, Twin Falls, West Yellowstone, and across this corridor, the worst-case scenario sits at the fringes of imagination. What if the current swarm escalates into a significant earthquake akin to Idaho's largest in the past? A big one, a major earthquake along fault lines just beneath populated towns could bring landslides, shake infrastructure, and disrupt roads, pipelines, and critical services. Depending on scale and location, dams or water systems could be at risk. Even in the absence of catastrophic damage, Widespread shaking can stress communities unaccustomed to frequent, strong earthquakes. And, although rare, every sizable earthquake in this region draws concern for its potential to trigger secondary hazards, including landslides or rockfalls in Idaho's rugged terrain. The worst fears, severe structural damage, loss of life, or a possible link to volcanic activity remain extremely unlikely. Most swarms are destined to fade and supervolcano eruptions are among the rarest of natural events. Still, the possibility, however remote, drives caution and readiness. These are not imaginary risks. The region's geologic past includes events where the land shifted and lives were changed. Yet, as experts continually emphasize, the vast majority of earthquake swarms, including those like the current one, do not precede disasters. A network on high alert. Idaho's rapidly accelerating swarm has not escaped notice. The state's seismic monitoring system, augmented by national networks, is in full swing. Additional seismic stations have been deployed close to the swarm's locus. Real-time data feeds flow to monitoring centers, enabling scientists to track every nuance. Highly accurate GPS units monitor the landscape for subtle deformation minute rises or falls that could imply deep movement. Data from drones and remote sensors are combined to provide a comprehensive view. 
from heat scanning to gas emission detection. The local public is also involved as each noticeable jolt earns rapid attention on social media and in the local press. Residents compare their experiences. Old timers recall the big quakes of decades past. For communities in the affected areas, awareness and preparation have become priorities. Local agencies rehearse drills, brief public officials, and consider the what-ifs. Which bridges, roads, or infrastructure would be most vulnerable? How would aid get through to mountain valleys if major quakes or landslides occurred. This readiness effort is mirrored in state land use offices and public health departments. Emergency management has updated and reviewed response plans, but so far there has been no need for major action. Idahoans remain watchful, aware that this string of activity stands out from the ordinary, but ready to adapt. A tectonic chain reaction. With each day of increased activity, some wonder if Idaho's earthquake swarm could trigger further unrest beyond its present boundaries. While swarms in one region occasionally shift stress enough to affect nearby faults, there's no clear evidence so far of impending chain reactions with Yellowstone or other calderas in the west. The Basin and Range Province, which covers much of Idaho, Montana, and the Intermountain West, is a web of faults and fractures where movement in one segment can occasionally influence another. In rare instances, a major earthquake in one part of the West has been linked to changes in seismic patterns elsewhere. However, most such connections are subtle. The present swarm is notable for its rapid escalation and similarity in location to past major Idaho quakes. Still, the likelihood of it causing significant seismic or volcanic events further afield remains low. As the experts remind us, the complexities of interlinked fault systems mean that prediction is inherently uncertain. For now, though, the main concern remains focused on central Idaho and immediate surroundings. Scientists continue to monitor, knowing that learning everything possible from this swarm will aid in understanding and perhaps predicting those yet to come. How this ends or begins Hours pass, each marked by new jolts, new readings, and a collective sense of breath held. No official earthquake or volcanic alert has been issued. Apart from a few stronger shakes, the swarm's effects have been confined to scientific observation and community chatter. Nonetheless, everyone involved knows that in geology, the absence of noise is as significant as any tremor. Perhaps, as has happened before, the swarm will soon dissipate. Idaho will return to tranquility, and scientists will analyze the data, searching for lessons in the peaks and lulls of the swarm. Or, possibly, these persistent tremors are the first signs of a longer episode, a reminder that the cycle of seismic activity never ends, only pauses. In either case, Idaho's landscape is an open book, its script unwritten each day. The region's story is shaped at the junction of forces we only partly understand. To ignore the Earth's voice would be to miss the warnings and wisdom it offers in every seismic rattle and geological scar. If you want to stay updated on this remarkable story, on the earthquakes marking the slow awakening of this region, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Scroll down and share your thoughts. Is this just another passing tremor? Or are we at the threshold of a new chapter in Idaho's geologic tale? The earth moves beneath us all. The only question is, are we ready for what comes next?